Hi guys, welcome to Short Nail Life. Please ignore my nails. I know they look bad. I will get to them soon. I just haven't had a chance to. But Beery Beery reached out and asked me did I want to review their products and I of course said yes. So I did send these out to me for free. But all opinions and thoughts are my own. And I love the fact that this trio came with a tab that you can pull it off. Some people have these sealed so well that it's just so hard to get into these. And I wanted to swatch at least one color on camera. And this applied so buttery and smooth. Like this was really, really nice. I enjoyed swatching this. I didn't expect it to feel this nice because I've seen reviews of other people and it wasn't this nice. So I honestly really like this. I did expect this color to be a more opaque, but I really like it. I feel like there's a lot you can do with the color like that. And I love this one as well. I don't have a peachy color like this. And I honestly don't have a teal. So I thought these colors were so pretty. And I did pick up number 15. If you want to pick this up as well, you can find these at the link in the description box down below. There is a coupon code if you want to pick that up. Next up, I have this kit of gel pots. And this is the instructions if you want to read these when you can pause the video. So I got a six pot set and it did come with a brush, which I really love. We need brushes to swatch these. So I'm happy it came with one. And I did get the blue purple set. I got three purple and three blue. And again, it comes with a tab. So it makes it so easy and convenient to remove the top part. This is the first color and I love it. I just think it's so pretty. These are all five gram pots. And like the trio, they swatch so beautifully and nice. They were buttery and smooth. And they swatch within two coats. So I have full opacity within two coats. I do want to say the purples, I love the colors of the purples. They are very muted, and that's what I actually like. I feel like muted colors are year-round colors. You can do so much with colors that are like this. The blues I thought were very pretty as well. Some of them are muted and some of them are bright, but I love them all. I just thought they were all so nice. So far, I am very impressed with everything they have sent me over. And again, if you want to pick this stuff up, I will have the link down in the description box down below. And there is a coupon code with it just in case you want to save some money off. So to start off, I'm going to put this base coat on all the nails. I already did it on my pointer. That's why I didn't do it. So as you saw, I am going for a cloud theme. I'm not that good at drawing clouds, but I really wanted to do a set like this, especially when I saw the colors, and it just felt like that's all the sets I have seen lately. So I was so excited to have these colors and to actually make this set come to life. So I'm just going to use this color by Madame Glam. It's a shimmer white, and I'm going to do about three quarters of this nail. If you're wondering why I didn't do the bottom, it's because I wanted it to be a little see-through just in case the glitters weren't sparse. I love that look. <laughs> um, you will see that a lot. And I did use the fifth, number 15 palette in those two colors from the Gel Pot series. When I do an ombre, I would normally start at the top from the cuticle. I, however, wasn't thinking about the fact that I wanted the purple to go at the bottom. So I just went ahead and took the purple at the bottom and then I brought the blue down. I don't think these colors are meant to be ombre. I don't think that was the purpose of the of this item. I think these are actually meant for like just to be an opaque background because they're very pigmented, like I said. But they blended so nicely together. I had no issues with that. Like I think it has everything to do with the fact that they're very buttery, as I said before. So it was just so effortless for them to just smooth into each other. I feel like this set was a flawless transition because of that. My 
I am going to use that glitter color and I'm not going to put it everywhere. I'm just going to kind of, I was trying to stagger it, but in the end, I just ended up making a little bit of a, just a line. <laughs> it wasn't in a, any type of shape or anything. It wasn't in a squiggle. It was just a line. I wish I had did two coats of it. You can see it in the final outcome, but I really wanted more glitter or more shimmer, but I love it still. So I just put some base coat on this pointer. And again, I do not think that these pots are meant to do this, but I think it worked in my favor because they're so opaque. Um, I am using my ombre brush to pick up the colors because I tried it before with just doing a regular ombre and like spreading it. That didn't work, but this worked and I'm so happy it did because I really wanted to create a little bit of an ombre with these. And I'm just kind of meshing them together. And like I said, these colors are so pretty together. They just kind of melt effortlessly into each other. And I cured this and then I'm going to put the shimmer on top. I did try to put the shimmer in it while it was wet, but the shimmer didn't spread out the way it was supposed to. That's why I say again, I do not think this is meant to do an ombre, but it still create a very beautiful ombre. And for the pinky, I just did a full covered nail with the purple and it was so pretty. I love this color. I really do recommend this set. These purples and blues are just gorgeous. I, there's so many nail ideas you can do with these. So I'm going to use this Vinalisa Jelly Pink on my pointer. I messed up. I, as you just heard me say, I used a jelly color. I don't know why. I, I'm not used to doing ombres yet. So it still has not clicked that I do not need to use a jelly color for ombre because it's going to be not opaque enough. So I ended up making this lump at the top of my nails. You know, I built in stages. So I didn't make it. I didn't let you guys see me build that all the way up the way I did. But yeah, it's going to come in soon. It's going to just be a big old lock there. And here's the lump. Uh, it was just easier to me to get the coverage, the color coverage that I was looking for. And then to add the clear in to help the transition. But honestly, this was fixed with fouling. If you do this, it can be fixed with fouling. And it was opaque like I needed it to be as well. And so now I'm just going to build all of the rest of the nails up. I'm not going to build the middle finger. Um, I have some more stuff I want to do to it. And you do not have to encapsulate this color on the pinky. I just felt like doing it today. It actually helps your color to stay longer when you encapsulate it if you have problems with your gel polish chipping. I don't do it a lot, but I just felt like doing it today. <laughs> and I really like the effect as well. So I'm gonna take this base coat and I'm going to put it on the middle finger. And I'm going to sprinkle this glitter into it. And I hope that makes sense that I'm saying I want a glass tip. I know that you can't see the tip basically, but I would like when you look in and you see through the nail, I, I'm trying to say, I really do like that look. I'm stuck on that look right now. I don't really want full opacity. And I will top coat the bottom of that nail as well, just so you can see through it more. So I encapsulated the nail off camera and I filed all of the nails off camera. Right now, I just have my matte top coat and I am matte top coating this ring finger and the pointer just so I can draw on it. I like a matte surface to draw on. It's easier for me. And I'm gonna use this gel paint 
to create these clouds today and my hand was in the camera which is why i already have two up there but all you do is do a dot motion very close together to create these clouds And I told you guys, I am very bad at drawing these. I don't know what am I doing wrong, but I just try to pull the polish down with the brush. The brush is dry. But I accidentally stumbled upon a different way that I like better than this brush technique. Because it just was not working for me. It was, I think it would have been fine had I left it like this, but it still didn't look the way I was expecting expecting it to look I guess you would say so as you can see the top one is too close to the second one so I took the top off and when I did that I dabbed it on a paper towel and I was like maybe this will look good if I just tap it on the cloud and it did it looked exactly like a cloud to me so when you do this you put the alcohol on or you want to make sure you get majority of that alcohol out because that can take away too much color which is why i did add in more right here to that cloud so yeah be very careful with that technique and i just use this cotton swab and i get these from i get these from shein <laughs> i had to think about that for a second but i get these from shein and i I personally like this better than the brush it was just so much easier to do just make sure the cotton is not saturated because if it is it will take off too much and I did have a backup just in case I couldn't figure this out I do have a stamp so just in case I couldn't figure out, I was gonna stamp this but I'm happy I finally figured out how to do this. So right now I'm just trying to create some stars. And what I did was I dipped that brush inside the paint and I just dotted it into that area. Well, into that dot that I made, I dotted it into that. <laughs> that sounds weird, but that's what I did until I saw a dot big enough to create points from it. So as you see, I'm dotting into that area and then I pull up, I pull up, I pull down and then I do both sides. I did cut this brush. I noticed that everybody that makes these stars has like a really thin brush. So that's my best advice if you're struggling is to cut some of your hairs off the brush if you can't get it right. But make sure it's a brush that you don't mind cutting. Um, and this was just something I had laying around, so I was fine with it. Ignore the matte top coat. I thought I wanted to matte some of the nails, but I ended up just doing all of them shiny. And these are turning out so cute. I love the outcome. It's just so pretty to me. So I'm just using some rhinestone gel on this nail. And I'm going to put a sun in there. I just thought it made sense. You have the sun. You have the clouds. So I'm going to flash cure it. Because I want to build up the gel in the middle. And I didn't want it to seep out the sides. Just in case it was too runny. So I built it up just to put the rhinestone in there. And I really would have did more rhinestone placement, but I didn't want to overpower that nail. And I will show you guys that in a minute. I just want to say these are so nice. I love how buttery and smooth they are. They are opaque in two coats. I just I love this. I really do recommend these. And like I said, the link is in the description box down below. And there is a coupon code down there just in case you want to pick this up and you want a discount. So i love this set i think it turned out so cute please let me know what you think of this set i'm just obsessed with it i just i'm so happy with the outcome um i want to say thank you for joining me today guys i do new videos every friday and every tuesday please feel free to like comment and subscribe i want you to have an amazing day guys bye and thank you very for sending this bye